Hello everybody, today is Friday, January 13th, Friday the 13th. It's 3.50 p.m. or 3.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The regular session for the futures markets closes for the week in just nine minutes. Over here on my left is a time in sales. Uh, this time in sales is the crude oil but we can change it to the E-mini S&P. Which the E-mini S&P is trading at uh, 2270 and a quarter. And again, it's uh, 351. We have a great video for you today. Before I begin, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, um, first chart up is the 30-year Treasury bond, and there's been tremendous volatility in the bonds here. I'm just going to uh, scrunch up the chart a little bit, and you can see this huge move, uh, this swing high of uh, 153.21 down to a low of 151.11. That's two and a half points in the bonds. That's you know that's quite a bit. The auto trader uh, caught a couple of good trades in the bonds recently. Uh, today's trade was a single long position coming in in the second part of the session on this uh, rebound, or you know perhaps short covering at the end of the week after you know kind of a volatile week. Uh, anyway, after this big sell-off, this was likely short covering into fl into um, Friday's close of the session. So, a full point in the bonds is a thousand dollars a contract. So this is two contracts on this uh, move here, um, pretty much made a full point and uh, probably hit its goal and had a tick of slippage on two contracts, thus doing 1937.50 for the day. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Superenco 6 tick, and this one is using our line break logic. You can see this uh, really nice short trade here. We had a split fill right here, and our line break signal here At 52.62 is our line break signal, and you can see a split fill here. Anyway, this did 740 for the day, kind of a mixed bag of trades, but really didn't take much heat, didn't take really any heat. Um, we went up, we had a little profit in the beginning, a pullback. This is our equity curve down here. So we made an equity high of about 600, pulled back to 300 and then up to 740 on a mixture of trades. So all in all, pretty good uh, for two contracts in the crude. Okay, next up is the Dow E-mini contract on the Superinco 6 tick. And we've been getting some good performance out of the Dow. Uh, this one hitting its daily goal of $1,000. We go here to trade management. Uh, here's our daily goal of 1000 and we hit our daily goal. We had a tick of slippage. And there was a mixture of trades here, but our equity curve starting at zero here only drew down about $75. So really didn't take much heat. We made an equity high at about 11 in the morning of $475 or so. And then we drew down to about $50 and then had a nice string of winners here from the noon hour on. And gave us uh, our daily goal. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the uh, 500 tick chart. This had a single short trade. And uh, we went short at 52.64. We had a low of 52.27. So we had an equity high of 800. So on this chart, there's there's quite a bit of leeway here. Um, had we had tighter money management, um, 
so this kind of chart, you know, might have some uh, advantage to uh, tracking your trades manually, the the exits anyway, not the entries, but the exits. Uh, anyway, we ended up with a modest gain of 360. Uh, and, and, you know, a gain of 360, I mean, if you did that, you know, four days a week, that's still $1,200 a week or uh, $5,000 a month if you just made uh, three or $400 a day. Okay, the rest of the charts had modest gains. Here we have the gold on the Superenco 6 tick, and this had three winners in a row and an equity high of almost $800 here, and then we had a string of losers. We had another winner. Actually, our equity high, according to this, I'm just noticing this, so our equity high was actually about $1,300, and our daily goal is $1,500. So we, we came within $150 of our daily goal, and then, so this was within the first hour of trading or so, or two hours maybe, our start time on this one is... Uh, 8.20 in the morning. So within two hours, we came within 150 of our goal, and then we proceeded to get whipsawed here and give it all back except for $290. So once again, uh, if you were observing this in real time, when you're this close to your goal, it's kind of like, you know, how much room do you want to give it? So it's it's kind of a shame to see a, uh, a chart like this where you come so close to your goal, you have such a high gain, and then you give so much back. But that happens, and with a little bit of trading skill, perhaps you can um, end the day with a better profit than what actually happened there. Because on these charts, I'm I'm not interfering with them. Okay, the DAX on the uh, Superenco 14 tick wasn't very lively today, so we had two winners and a loser, only end ending up with about $200 on the DAX. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Superenco 6 tick that uses the volatility algorithm, not the line break algorithm, which was the one we saw earlier with a much higher gain. Uh, the crude with the line break algorithm did 740. This one, using the volatility algorithm, did 230 today. And here, we, again, you can see a mixture of trades. And that's it for today's video. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.